What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Got my guy, Marcho, Mar uh, Mo Charlo, tapping in with me today. My guy, Mo Charlo. Get my guy here. Yeah. What's up with my the guy? What's, What's up, bro? You, you, you know, feeling, bro? you know. Man, I'm feeling great, dog. Man, just grinding through the week, man. Getting ready for Saturday, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who y'all got? We got uh, Nate Rob and them boys. Trip, I'm um, not the tri state. Tri state. Yes, sir. Go get that W, bro. Man, we got to, man. We trying to get to the Bahamas, man. That's the that's the first goal to try to get there, and then when we get there, we trying to win. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, my guy, man, I just want to say I appreciate you for tapping in, bro. Long overdue, but we finally got it. We finally here, bro. We finally tapped in. Let me see. You hear me, Brody? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yep, yep. Okay, you keep going out. Uh... But man, but like I said, bro, I appreciate you tapping in, bro. It's long overdue. Finally got you on here, man. You get, hey, I'm gonna add you back in, Mo. Let me see how you. Are. Let me add, bro, back in. How you? You can hear me, Brody? Can, can you hear me? A little bit. Keep going in and out. One more, let's add me back in one more time. All right, bet. My boy out kicking it. Add more. There we go. Is that? Is is that better, Dow? Yeah, you're a little better now. I can hear you now. Okay, okay. All right, man. Like I said, bro, I appreciate you, Brody. About time we got you on the podcast, man. Long, long, long overdue, bro. Oh, man, you know it's all good, man. We here, yeah. though. For sure. Man, to start off, Brody, just, you know what I mean, give us a quick rundown of, you know, how was it for you growing up, where you from, and how did you get involved in hooping and stuff like that? Man, I'm from uh, Northern Cali, man. I grew up in Eureka, California, way up there, way on the North Coast, man, where it was hard, man. I didn't come up doing the AAU just because where I was at, you know, at the time it wasn't, it wasn't popping like it is now, you know what I mean? So I really just kind of had to find my way, really get it out the mud, you know. I didn't have the yeah.
It's, a, it's better. There we go, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we good now, bro. Right. So you better than everything, though. For sure. But, uh, yeah, like you were saying, you said you kind of grew up. You know, you didn't really play AU like that. Yeah, man, I didn't really get, you know, that wasn't a thing back then where, where I was at way up north, man. So, you know, I didn't, I didn't have the luxury of, you know, having a trainer yeah. tell me, let's go shoot jump shots, let's go work on this crossover, you know, yeah. the, the luxury these this generation have, man. So I really had to just get it out the mud. Right. But I knew that was my way out, you know what I'm saying? I knew that was my way out of, of my situation, man, of growing up tough and um, me having dreams and wanting to play college ball. Yeah. So I didn't have the luxury of a parent who, who can, you know, pay for my school. Yeah. You know, it was either you're going to get it on your own as far as a scholarship or I, you never yeah. know. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm So – but what made you stayed, just, what made you get into hooping though? Was that kind of like did you play other sports instead of hooping, and you kind of just fell in love with yeah. it like that? Yeah, I played. So I played baseball, football, and basketball, man. And I was I was fortunate. I was pretty good at you know all three of them, man. I was you know six 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 seven wide receiver, you know. So I was a big target. Yeah, man. So he used to call me the young Randy Moss. Man. Yeah, you know that was my favorite. You know all the time. So shout out to Randy Moss, bro. But um. And in baseball, I just kind of did it just to try to stay out of trouble, you know, keep my mind right, you know, staying, trying to stay on the right path because I, I knew I wanted to play hoop, yeah. you know, so I, I just stay on the right path, man, and, and do the right thing. Thanks. Now, when did you realize, like, when you was hooping that, all right, this is what I'm going to do, you know what I'm saying, with my life, you know what I'm saying? Because you play football and baseball. You could have went either way. But what made you realize, like, yeah. all right, I'm going to do hooping? Probably like my – probably like my – sophomore year in high school, you know what I mean? I just kind of, I started to look like, okay, longevity. You know what I mean? Just, you know, you can, I'm, I'm a big target in football, you know, wrong hit, it's a yeah. rap. You know yeah. what I mean? So I just, I just kind of looked at longevity, man. And I just, you know, Mike Jordan, man, he just had that swag to him, man. And he just, you know, I want to be like Mike, like everybody in my generation, you know what I'm saying? So I just fell in love with the game, man. And, 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 and like that type of atmosphere. Thanks. Okay. Now, when you was coming up, bro, and you was hooping, who was your favorite player at that time when you was coming up? Who was you watching? Mike Jordan, yeah. man. You know, I was in Mike Jordan, man. He was, you know, he was he's that guy. You know, everybody had that debate, but, man, he's, you know, he was Mike, man. He just had that swag to him, man, that killer instinct, man. And then I'm a shoe head, so, you know, yeah. he had all the fly kicks to this day. Yeah. Still having the fly kicks, you know. So, everything about him, man, I just – I just fell in love with the way he played, man, and, and how he was he was so hungry out there. Even even when he was considered the best, he was still hungry. He still wanted to kill everything yeah. in front of him. Right. So. Okay. Um, for you, bro, uh, you got a favorite basketball moment of your career, bro. What was a special moment for you in Open? Um, a special moment? Probably, man, there's a lot of them. Um, you know, obviously – going to the tournament, NCAA tournament. But probably my, my favorite is winning the championship overseas, man. Yeah. People don't realize the grind you got to go through, yeah. you know, and they out. They here overseas, they think it's just all oh, peaches and cream, which is it's a blessing, but you still got to grind. You you know, you moving, you moving your whole family to another country if you have a family or you moving yourself. So you're still trying to adjust to what, you know, their culture and still trying to buy into their culture and, and learn. So my first year in Japan, man, I was, I was fortunate enough to uh, get over there, take my family, my daughter and my wife, you know, and just, we just, uh, ran, we ran the course, man. I had, I had a, a team full of Americans that we were all fresh, yeah. you know, we got there, man. We just had no egos, man. I got to lead my team to a chip, bro. And, and, the, and to celebrate with the confetti and my daughter in my hand, man. I got a picture yeah, that yeah. is probably the best picture of all time with my daughter in my hand, man. And just just celebrating that moment with my family, bro. It was it was, it was priceless. Facts, facts. Special moment, man. You ain't, you're gonna never, you know what I mean, leave that like, you know what I mean? That ain't gonna never leave your mind, bro. That's forever cherished, man. For life, you know? Facts. But how did you facts, how did you bro. adapt to that overseas like, bro? I know it ain't easy, you know what I mean? Especially, you know, the time zone, the food, the language and all that. How did you adapt over 
Man, it, uh, so my situation in Japan, man, I was, it, it was kind of easy for me just because my, my, my coach, man, he was a, he's Japanese, but he also spoke great English, man. Oh, he okay. thought he was great. He, he was coach Pop, man. That was his favorite, the Spurs, Popovich. All we heard was the Spurs, 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 man. Yeah. So he went to school in the States, so he spoke both, you know, so it made it easy for, for us Americans to adjust because we had him, you know, in our back pocket. And then, you know, I had a Japanese family that, that took me and my family in as well, man. And, and they went to school at UCLA. So they spoke both languages as well. So yeah. they took us in a real, real family, bro. Yeah. And um, to this day, we still talk to him, man. And, and, and that's the, that's a bond that we'll never, we'll never uh, let go. You know what I mean? So they took care of us, man, while we we're over there. So it was super easy for us as far as the love we got. Thanks. Okay. Um, for you, bro, Give me your top five hoopers in the league right now. What's up? What's up? <laughs> that's, my, that's my 14 year old man. My, my that's the one that was at the game with you, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah she, uh, my peep out for her, yeah. man. She she on her way. We working, yeah. bro. We working. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, but let me see. For you, bro, who your top five players in the league right now, bro? Who your top favorite right now? Ooh. That's tough. <laughs> uh, my my number one, KD. Okay. You know, so I'm a big KD fan for sure. He, to me, he's the greatest scorer in the world. Um, it's it's up for debate who's the greatest player to work because you know everybody's everybody's great in their own yeah. way, man. Um, shout out to Phil Handy, uh, the 94 feet of game, yeah. man. That's you know he's my coach, but I rock with his saying, "Be your own goat." Everybody's their own goat in their own way. So, um, I got KD. I got Braun. Um, I got man, Luca. He's he's a problem, bro. Tough, bro. Tough. Oh, uh, God. When Kawhi's healthy, man, he's a problem too. You know, so that's four. And then, man, I mean, Giannis. Giannis is a problem too. Hey. You know, he's a. He's a problem. So I'm going to rock with them five. Obviously, there's so many other greats, you know, in the league that I'm leaving out. Even Joker, man. Yeah. You know, out here, you know I'm out here in Denver. You know, I, I, I rock with them boys. And some of my boys, you know, they let me in the facility. I work out with them. So yeah. I get to see if it's him, man. Them boys put in work. So, But Joker, too, man. He, shoot, he he's a problem as well. Yeah, so. give, him a, give him a few more years, bro. Ooh, it's going to be a problem. Man. Uh... <laughs> Let me see. Uh, when you was coming up hooping, bro, who was one of your toughest matchups ever? Oh, we. That's tough, bro. That's tough. It's, you know, it's always so my my hood boys too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's to be it be with my boys who I you know who I be grinding with because uh, I didn't really do the AAU circuit like mm. that. I went to two camps. I went to North Carolina camp, and I went to Press Stars top fifty in the nation. Ooh. You know, so. Yeah, for, you know, so when I got down to the Bay, because I went the Juco route, uh -huh. you know, so that's why I got, I hooked up with Drew Gooden, you know, a bunch of Franco Harris, you know, a bunch of those guys. So it was tough, man, as a whole, the Bay, once you got down yeah. there, you know, shout out to Gary Payton, man, yeah. Jason, them boys, you know, they, Dame Dollar, you know, they from out that way. So it's a bunch of killers out there. So when I got to the Bay, I really had to, I really had to elevate my game, yeah. you know what I mean? Because everybody could play, so. Um, when I got down there as a whole, bro, that junior college level, people be counting the junior college level out, bro. It's it's tough. Yeah. I think it's the some of the toughest balls because it's those guys who are just on the cuffs of getting their grades right and you know something They're that they to have get to get to over that, that hump. Level, so. yo. Exactly. So in, in Cali, you know, it's not we didn't got nationals. We got state because it's so big. So out there in the Bay, there was so many great schools. So I had to come in there and just put my put my foot on it, put my stamp on it, bro. Yeah. So my first year, we won our first straight, like, 28 games before we lost my freshman year. In two years, I only lost, like, four games, and that two of them was in the state. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Boys, so I got my number retired. Man, we was balling, bro. I got my number retired. I'm in the Hall of Fame out there at Diablo Valley, DVC. Um, shout out to my boy Franco Harris, who, who really put me on, man. I was trying to make a decision what college I wanted to go to, man. So it was either at a, at a DBC, Santa Rosa Junior College was dope, um, and um, CC, Contra Costa, you know. So um, I rock with DBC, and it paid off for me for sure. Nice. 
I'm glad you spoke on that, bro, because I feel like some who would think that JUCO route is the, you know what I mean, it, it look bad, but I feel like it really ain't because you pretty much, you know what I mean, touching up your grades a little bit, you know what I mean, elevating your game to get to that next level, you know what I mean? For sure. For sure. You really got to grind. It's a, it's, a, it's a part of the grind. It's not a grind, you yeah. know what I mean? So. Okay. Um, for you, bro, not to get too personal or whatever, whatever you willing to share, what was something that you kind of went through that you kind of overcame that kind of made you the man you are now? Yeah, man, I think I just had to go through that that grind. For me, I didn't really have like a – I had to kind of learn everything on my own on the fly, you know what I'm saying? And, and um lady I live with, Kathy Giacconi, uh, shout out to her. She, she was a big part as well. But we kind of just had to learn on our own. You know, so I had to take, I had to learn, I had to take some bruises on the way, uh, made some, made some bad decisions as a pro, um, made some great decisions as a pro. Yeah. You know, so um, I learned, you learn from your mistakes, man, and and I wouldn't necessarily say it's a mistake because being be able to play professional basketball, that's always a blessing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, so I wouldn't say a mistake, but it just could have made a different choice. Yeah, you live and you learn, brother. You live and you learn, bro. That's it. Dog. Yo, if you can um if you can have five dinner guests, bro, dead or alive, any, you know, former rapper, hooper, whatever, what five are you rocking out with, bro? Say wait, say that one more time. If you can have five dinner guests, dead or alive, anybody you want at your table to chop it up with, talk about life, whatever, what five are you rocking out with, bro? Ooh. Oh my. Oh, that's so tough. Um, I'm a big Tupac fan. I'm going to have Pac in there. Yeah. And then um, shout out to Ice Cube, man, the big three for even having me. Yes, um, sir. So being in, being in that, you know, being in that circle with them, man, Ice Cube, he's, you know, he's like a pioneer for me, you know, being a being a black man and his success and his grind and what he had to go through, bro, is yeah. is unbelievable. And he's one of my favorite actors. You know, I can recite all of his movies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So shout out to Ice Cube. Um, gosh, who else, bro? There's so many greats. Um, Mike Jordan, you know what I mean? Just, just who he is and his business mindset and, and what he had to go through as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, okay, y'all, you got some heavy. Rest in peace, you Kobe. Already. Yeah. Gotta Kobe, Kobe Bryant, rest in peace. Man. Yeah, yeah, off top, man. Uh, legend. Uh, gosh, one more. Oof. God, so many grace, bro. Um, even, even Nip. Rest in peace, Nip. He had to go through and Sir. his success that he he was on his way to. And you know, his life got taken got taken early, bro, and on some senseless acts. So he's such a he was so smart in the brain, man. I, you know, I, I would like to pick his brain, you know, and, and he was such an intelligent man. His success, man, was he was he was that dude, and he was on his way to do a lot of special things, man. So um, I say Nip, yeah, as well. But there's so many greats, man. That's just kind of what came to the top of my head at this moment because you. Yeah, me yeah. Shout out to Fourth Man Pod. Shout out to y'all for tapping in. Uh, yes, sir. I was right there. Yeah. Um, for you, bro. What kind of what has the game taught you, bro, that kind of carry in everyday life for you personally? Ooh. Um, patient, be patient. Uh, patience. Um, how to be a leader. Yeah. Um, a mentor. Um, especially to a lot of these kids who, who grew up like me. You know what I mean? There's a lot of, a lot of us who, who got those dreams, man. And so... You know, when you when you're on that stage of being a professional basketball player, that comes with the territory of being a mentor, man. These young generation look up to us so much, man, and and they watch our every move and they want to be just like us. So I think that's I think that's the best thing for 
I mean, especially right now with how the world's going right now, man, there's so much going on and yeah. a lot of uncertainty, bro. So right now these young generation really, really need us in a bad way. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I that. Definitely. Um, all right, bro, for you, give me your favorite basketball movie of all time. Do you my favorite what? Your favorite basketball movie of all time. My favorite basketball movie? Yeah. Oh, that's a few of them, bro. Uh, Above the Rim, classic. Um, he Got Game, classic. Yeah. Um, Sun- Sunset Park. We rocking. <laughs> you got a bunch of them you can go with, bro. Yeah, man. There's so many out there, man. Um. Some other good ones, bro. Coach Carter. That's mine. Um, man. Man. man, Glory Road. There's some other. There's so many good ones. Nah. Uh, what's up, gonna say? All right, bro. Give Glory me your, Road. Your top five rappers of all time. Bro. Man, yeah, you can't. My what? Your top five rappers of all time. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough one, always. Pac, Biggie. Man, I like man, I like Jada Kiss. They Ooh, versus him yeah. in the dip set, but that was crazy. Did you see the verses on that? Oh legendary, bro. Legendary. Oh, good. Oh, that was fire. Um Got that boy Hove. He come with he he come with the flame, all the time. He got banger after banger. <laughs> uh, shoot, who else we got? We got Wayne. You can't forget Weezy, bro. Uh, 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 and Weezy, and, and Weezy for sure. I got I got Weezy for show. Wayne definitely got to be in somebody top five. Everybody top five. Can you hear me? Y'all can hear you. You hear me? You good? Oh yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. I'm just trying to get to my charge. Okay, baby. baby. I'll, I'll, I'll yep, I'm Gucci. Ready, <laughs> Yeah, we Gucci now. Okay, bet, bet, bet. And then, uh, man, my last one for you, Brody, is, uh, man, who would you like to see on my podcast, bro? Who you want to get on here to tell their story, you know, and, and chill for a little minute, talk a little sports, a little music, whatever? <laughs> yeah, we good? Yeah, you hear me? You hear me, bro, bro? Trey, what up, bro? Let's see if I can get Mo back in here.
It won't let me add you back in, Mo. You can hear me, bro? Okay. Yo, I hear you yeah. now. Yo, IG yo. tweaking. He won't let me add you in for a reason. Man. IG on one. But, uh. Don't mind my. Don't mind my. Okay. Little kicks okay. in the back, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, like I said, last question for you, bro. Um, Who would you like to see on the podcast, bro? Somebody that can get on here and tell their story, basically, and, and just chill and talk a little sports and, and all that. Man, uh, Matt Stack. Man, I love to have them boys on here. Real I love cool. to have them boys on here. Hey, shout out, shout out to Stack, man, and Matt Barnes, man, all the smoke, man. I would love to just chill with them, man, and just speak some real stuff, man, and you know, just kind of get in their ear. Obviously, I get to be around Stack Five with the yeah. big three, um, you know, but we be chilling, but we don't really get a chance to just sit down and just rap, rap like that. There'd be so much going on, you know what I'm saying? So. Stack five, though. I'm going to try to get them on, man, and, and see what we can hey, do, bro. Hey, my brother, I appreciate you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You definitely, you know what I'm saying? Since hey. i seen you in Vegas, bro, we've been locked in. You know what I mean? Been looking out. So, you know, we locked in, brody. I appreciate you a lot, bro. Man, locked in, my brother. You know, it's all good. Anytime, man. Reach out to your boy. Anytime, man. I, I got you. For so, sure. Man, my guy, all love, Brody. You know what I mean? Go get that dub in, in Vegas this weekend. Uh, for everybody on here, go check out my guy, Big Three Killer Threes. They're trying to get to the Bahamas for that chip. So if y'all ain't doing nothing Saturday, tune you know in to my saying? guy on Big Threes, man. Killer Threes, my guy, Mo Charlo, bro. I appreciate you, bro, bro. You know what I'm saying? I definitely appreciate you a lot, man. I'm going to tap in with you when I get off here. I got you, bro. Appreciate right, bro, you, my love. dude. Love.